Hi folks, today I can confirm that Sony will announce four new E-mount lenses between now and June. And about three of these lenses have their full specs, so I'm going to share them now. But uh, one more teaser, there will be more E-mount lenses than this, because also Viltrox will announce two new E-mount lenses, autofocus, but also other manufacturers are releasing new E-mount autofocus lenses within the next couple of months. I will talk about all those lenses in this video, but before that, the usual reminder to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, do not miss any of the upcoming rumors. Those are the lenses we are going to get. The first one is the 16 to 25 millimeter 2.8 G lens. This is an affordable full frame autofocus lens made for vloggers and gimbal shooters and so forth. And I think this will be a very popular lens among uh, those kind of shooters because the 1625 really covers the perfect range focal length for uh, the use case. So I do believe this is a very good lens for those kind of creators. The second lens we will get for sure is the 85 millimeter 1.4 so the new version that is optically way superior, a bit more compact and I've been told that this lens still has not gotten any delay like for example the 1625 2.8G should have been announced in late February along the 25 to 50 millimeter lens but has been delayed because I told you there are some kind of production issues at Sony I don't know the reason why but most of the stuff got delayed by around two months well, the 85 1.4 G GM2 seems not to be delayed as of yet and should be announced in late spring, early summer. So I have been told in best case scenario that this lens should be available in stock by June. But uh, let's see if this gets confirmed. What's confirmed this lens is coming, so it will be announced, but I don't know when it will be available in stock. But for now, it's June. Moving on, the third lens is the 24 to 70 mm 2.0. I already told you about an exciting lens and I'm already working on those kind of uh, super fast zoom primes that will come after this one. I got two info about two lenses, but I need a confirmation about this. I will make uh, some video in the next couple of weeks about those two lenses, but the 24 to 70 2.0 is coming pretty soon. I don't have actually a release that yet for this lens. My guess is that it will be announced between now and summer, um, but I hope to get some more information soon. So those three lenses are definitely coming and I told you the specs. There is a fourth Sony E-mount lens coming pretty soon, I've been told, but I don't have the specs of this lens yet, but I have the confirmation from a trusted source that indeed there is a fourth Sony E-mount lens coming between now and June, so this is uh, confirmed. I don't know if there is going to be something else from Sony, but what I know is that there will definitely many more autofocus E-mount lenses coming from third-party manufacturers. We have an image of the Wilters 135 1.8 full-frame autofocus lens that will be announced in springtime. On the background you can also see the 40mm 2.5 full frame autofocus lens, but I also have info about other autofocus E-mount lenses that will be announced between April and June from other third party manufacturers. One of them is particularly exciting. That's something I can tease you now, but I'm working to get the final confirmation about the specs, but if the specs are confirmed, this is something you would definitely like. So. Those are the lenses where I'm sure that we will get them within the next couple of months. We will also get uh, the ZV E10 II camera from Sony. And that's all I got as of now regarding alpha cameras that have been confirmed. I know that's a bit underwhelming when it comes to cameras, but I've been told many cameras are coming starting from early summer till late autumn. So there will be in at least in two cases high-end Sony cameras coming, so not entry-level like ZV stuff or whatever. So to wrap it up, it's clear that Sony is very focused on releasing four E-mount lenses between now and uh, early summer, and there will be many third-party manufactured lenses. One of them is super exciting, I hope I can share this possibly even next week, that would be amazing for you because this is a lens you would, you're really looking forward, I know you, so this is an exciting lens. But stay tuned because 
I'm working hard also to get final confirmation of the first about those first Sony cameras, maybe the Sony E7S4, maybe a new sort of new kind of camera that could be a fixed lens, full frame or medium format camera. And um, so the, it's going to be an exciting year for sure. Okay, uh, folks, uh, again, I promise you to be to share, make a new video as soon as I can share the details about the upcoming lenses and cameras. But there will be a ton of stuff I will talk about in this channel in the next weeks. That, that's for sure, because I have a lot of stuff cooking. See you soon, folks.